QUP was established at KK in December 2021. KK is an international research center with world leading accelerators. More than 1,000 researchers from outside Japan visit KK annually to do research. For example, the Bell 2 experiment for particle physics studies has collaborators from 26 countries and regions. KK is the ideal place to host our QUP activities. Offices for PIs and researchers are on the same floor of building number four. Hi, I'm Masashi Hazumi. I'm the director of QUP.、Um, the QUP's headquarters have been on the fourth floor of KK's building number four since March 2022.、Um, here's my office. I'm using this place for brainstorming and discussion with researchers at QUP. Good morning. My task is to provide a good support to QEP researchers, especially to the bright young postdoc like、uh, Leonard and Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory. I'm the head of QEP administration office. We have eight staff of QEP administration and strategy office in this room. This room is designed to have easy and friendly access for the QP researchers. There are also plenty of shared spaces in building number four where researchers interact actively with each other. Okay, next, let me introduce our main experimental facilities. We're now in KK's Advanced Instrumentation Lab. Here, we have been developing measurement systems for cosmic microwave background experiments, including Lightbird. We conduct、uh, research and development for the low noise measurement system with superconducting detectors for Lightbird, dark matter experiment, and application to、uh, bioimaging and quantum information science. And for these studies, a refrigerator is an essential tool to cool down the superconducting sensors. So, on this floor, we have five cryogenic systems for that purpose, and the QUP plan to double it in this physical year to accelerate each research activity. s This is our 0.1 Kelvin dilution refrigerator.、Uh, this puff is actually cooled down to below 0.1 Kelvin. So, we will install the TS barometers and the radar systems actually used in the Lightbird missions, and we will study for our TS barometer characterization and reducing for the radar noise systems. So, next we will show our TS barometers. These are transition edge sensors operating at the edge of their superconductivity at only a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. We put them in series with a superconducting resonator that selects a frequency at a few megahertz that we can read them out at.、Uh, they are then amplified by a squid amplifier, and、uh, the signals are sent all the way to room temperature from this device. This high bay will be renovated for testing Lightbird telescope. Also, a new building for QP will be constructed next to this building to achieve. The、uh, research of QP under one roof. During the construction phase, we're gonna move all the things here to another experimental facility、uh, called the Fuji Experimental Hall. This is the Fuji Experimental Hall. It was initially built for the Tristan E plus E minus collider experiment in the 1980s. The RSRD of QUP. Is in progress or in preparation using this large space. A core QEP facility of cryogenic detectors will be placed here. It will equip four new dilution refrigerators. These cryogenic instruments have been relocated from the Kabri IPMU. We have cross collaboration on our flagship project, Lightbird. We will bring the test apparatus previously shown in the other lab.
This is a green room for assembly and testing of the semiconductor detectors which can work in high radiation environment. For example, to use in recent high intensity beam experiment. We are developing detectors based on not only silicon semiconductor but also new materials. Especially, we are focusing on the CIGS semiconductor. The CIGS semiconductor, initially developed for the solar cells, is expected to have radiation tolerance with a recovery of radiation damage with a compensation of the defects by ions. We, these materials will shed new light on the use for the particle detectors and cameras under the high radiation environment. Another important part for cutting edge detector is read out electronics. The signal from detector is processed using high performance and multifunctional integrated circuit. This requires non scale CMOS technology. Application specific integrated circuits are designed here. KK has built a new beam line for testing detectors with high energy electrons. This test facility is located close to the QP experimental facilities and will provide a powerful tool for QP research in the detector development. The circular accelerator behind the wall, named the accumulator ring, is the source of the beam extracted to this test beam line. QUP has three satellite laboratories outside KK to strengthen its research capability. KK has excellent facilities, but still, there are some missing areas. The satellites are responsible for development that cannot be carried out at KK. A satellite in ISAS JAXA is used for developing quantum detectors, such as Transition Edge Sensor, TES. We have a classroom level clean room to fabricate TES and other devices by micro machining. The QUP satellite in Toyota Central r and Labs is aiming for the development of quantum sensors and social implementation experiments. We have just started the measurement of quantum sensors in the satellite. On July 12th, the QUP director, Masashi Hazumi, visited our satellite for discussing the research plan. In our satellite, we will advance our research on quantum sensors towards social implementation. A satellite at UC Berkeley is in preparation. The Marvel Nanofabrication Lab at Berkeley is the place for fabricating the superconducting sensors for the QUP flagship project, Lightbird. On May 12, the QUP director visited UC Berkeley to discuss our MOU for the satellite. QUP researchers will use this room in the physics building. To create QUP's under one roof environment, we are currently working with the KK management to create a new building complex that provides a place for QUP researchers to be united. 